And let me talk a little bit about the difference between snoring and sleep apnea. Because while a lot of people who snore have sleep apnea, and while a lot of people who have sleep apnea snore, that's not always the case. And that has to do with how constricted or how small the airway becomes. If the airway in the middle of the night becomes smaller, now the body is trying to fit the same volume or the same size of breath through a small pipe. And that small pipe, the only way to fit a regular size breath is for air in that region to move faster. And that faster air going through a small pipe can cause a vibration, and that's what the sound of snoring comes from. But, and remember, in some cases of sleep apnea, the effort of breathing may not be there. So if someone has central sleep apnea and the airway is fine and it's fully open, but the effort isn't there, you may not have snoring, but you can still have apnea. And many patients ask me, how can you have snoring but not have sleep apnea? And often what's happening is that the airway is starting to become smaller, so it's vibrating and causing that noise of snoring, but there still is enough air for the body to get the gases and exchange the gases that it needs to. So the pausing of breathing may not be there, or it may not be complete, but it's enough of a narrow, uh, narrow airway to cause uh, that vibration or to cause that snoring that not everyone who has snoring has sleep apnea, and not everyone who has sleep apnea will snore.